to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel i am alex and this is lexi's travel bug here i like to give you all kinds of different tips and tricks and bring you along on my travel experiences today we're going to talk about some of my favorite travel essentials anything that i can find the same item or an equivalent of i will go ahead and link them below either at the original website that i got them from or a version from amazon that is similar very clear most of my items are from amazon and i do not get anything in return for you purchasing these items the very first tip that i like to use and i've gotten a few people on board with this this is one that i found from one of the bloggers that i follow is i like to have a travel box there are certain items that i only keep for traveling and i don't always use them even when i do travel so i don't like to keep them in my suitcase I like to keep them in a box in a cubby in one of my um, shelves so that I can keep all of my travel related essentials in that box. That way, whenever I'm going to travel, I can go to the box. I know everything is going to be right in there. And from there, I will take out the items that I need. In here, I have things like packing cubes. I have a lot of different sizes and kinds of packing cubes. Um, because sometimes I like these narrow ones when I'm traveling for shorter trips in a duffel bag. I like the more rec the more square-ish type ones when I'm using my suitcase. A lot of people don't like packing cubes. I really do, especially when I travel for work and I travel like a month at a time. I'm really able to use these to compartmentalize my items and really compress things down. So for example, this, even when I'm using it in a suitcase, this is really great for socks and underwear. I can roll them really tightly and keep them all nicely contained. So I have a lot of packing cubes in here. I have some specific for shoes. And then I use them when I'm not traveling to corral some of my favorite travel essentials. So let's take a look at some of these items. This is one of the ones that I feel is the most important. It is a scale for your suitcase. Nobody likes to get to the check-in counter and realize that their items are overweight. So this does have four um, different weight measures. You just hook it around your suitcase, lift it up, and it will tell you exactly how heavy it is. So that is one of my favorites. I've lent it out so many times when I've been traveling. Um, I also have some downy spray wrinkle releaser. Um, really great for getting the wrinkles out of your clothes, even if you're rolling them nice and flat. Sometimes you do end up with wrinkles, especially at the beginning of the fold, whether you're, you're rolling it from the top down or the bottom up, there's usually wrinkles there. So the wrinkle releaser is great for that. I like to carry around um, some of these collapsible bags, great for shopping, um, especially if you're not planning on doing a lot of shopping, but you know you usually shop, you can throw these into another purse, a fanny pack, whatever it is. So you have some extra space for you on the go. Is there anything else super essential in here? These are great. They're these rollers that you can use on your feet. If you have a freezer wherever you're traveling, um, if you have, um, if you're doing a lot of walking and your feet get sore, it's really great to freeze a water bottle and then roll your feet on the water bottle. The frozen ice will help with um, releasing muscle tension and then rolling will also help to work out some of that muscle tension. A lot of times though, we travel in places that we don't have access to a freezer. So that's what these are really good for. I take them with me if I'm staying in a hotel that doesn't have a full size fridge and it's really good to work out some of that tension in your feet. I do have two of these, but I've traveled with just one before to save space and it's fine. You just work on one foot at a time. And I always travel with a whole bunch of Ziploc bags um, of different sizes, snack size, um, sandwich size, quart size, and a few gallon size. You never know when you need to corral things into smaller bags. Um, so those are always great to have. I also like to travel with 3M hooks and 3M strips. They're really great to hang things up around without creating any damage. And then you can easily take them down at the end of your trip. Depending on where I'm going, how I'm traveling, I will also take a first aid kit. This is a really big one um, that I like to use when we go camping for a week. I do have a smaller one that I use if I'm just traveling on my own. More of those bags I was telling you about. And then this is a new one. Um, the one that I had before I had given to somebody else. 
So this is a new version of a um, international plug. It has for US, Australian, UK, and European Union. It also has four USB plugs right here into a little hub. So really great. It's still in the box. I haven't used it yet. And then this <laughs> is just a laundry bag. Um, it's really great to be able to keep your laundry separated from the rest of your clothes, whether you're doing laundry while you're traveling or you're going to bring it home. This is cool because it has um, these air pockets on the bottom, these little vented areas. So you can easily flatten things out into whatever shape you need, roll it up to suck out all the air, and then you can place it back into your suitcase. Or if you're traveling by car, we just throw this directly into the trunk and we don't have our clean clothes mixing with our dirty clothes. When we travel to places like Disney in the summer, we also like to use these cooling towels. This one hasn't been used in a while, so it's kind of stuck in here. Um, I have a few of these. This one I actually haven't used in a very long time. I have smaller ones that I like a little bit better. Um, you wet them, swirl them around a little bit to cool them off, drape them over your neck, and it really helps to keep you cool while you are out in the heat, in the sun, in the humidity, which is basically all of Florida, which is where I live. In addition, I have a few of these power banks. This is an old one that I used to use. Um, didn't even realize I still had this. This thing is so old. It is. I can't even see how much space it has. So this is an old one that I used to use. Um, this is a new one that I use. I actually found this one from one of the vloggers that I follow. This one is great because you can charge two things at once and it has a lot of charge. Um, it's actually not even fully charged right now, but this will usually charge my iPhone um, Max, uh, sorry, Pro Plus, whatever, the big one. Um, it'll usually charge it three or four times, so it holds a lot of juice. I can charge my iPad with this, my iPad Pro, not completely, but it will, I think the most charge I've gotten on my iPad on a fresh one of these is about 75% charge, and my iPad lasts a good amount of time. So this is awesome as well. I also have this tech case, I have two tech cases. This one's a really flat one. Um, when I was working from the office, this always stayed in my work bag, and then I would just move the entire thing to my travel bag when I was traveling. It is awesome in terms of all the space and organization that it has. It has a zippered compartment down here for larger items. And then it has these three sections here. You can actually use it as six sections, but I like using it as just three. Um, I have, sorry, there's four of these. Um, but you can keep your items in here really organized. I have an extra, extra charger for my watch. I usually carry a lightning USB-C and a micro USB cable in here. I've taken a few of them out because I've been using them recently, but I usually keep one of everything in here. I keep my power bank, some extra corded headphones. I do have AirPods. I do use my AirPods, but it's always good to have a backup of corded, air, of corded headphones just in case, because you never know. And I actually have two sets in here. I usually carry three sets because these are old. They don't last very well sometimes. So I always have extra ones in there. And I also have a couple other chargers that I always keep. This is a wall um, USB-C to USB-C charger. Um, for if I don't wanna use the power bank, I just can just use this by itself. I also have this charger that is for my Apple Watch. It plugs into a USB outlet. I used to, used to use this with my, um, my MacBook which I don't have anymore, but I can still use it with my iPad. I can even use it with my laptop that I still have. So all of these are awesome. And this stores super, super small. Even in a book bag, it hardly takes up any space at all, even when it is packed to the max. And I've even slipped my Kindle in here before. My Kindle does fit in here. I usually keep it separate, but if I've been doing a lot of charging and I'm getting ready to jump on a plane, I'll just go ahead and throw it in here real quick. They both fit well. That brings me to another item, my Kindle. This is not a, this is not a mind blowing thing. Tons of people have Kindles. I really like the Kindle Oasis. It has this heavier side, so it's really comfortable to hold it. I like my case for it and I'll flip it back and sometimes just hold it like this. It's really comfortable. I read a lot, especially when I'm traveling. Um, so this is an amazing 
thing. I use it by my pool. I use it at night. I use it all the time. So I can't go anywhere without my Kindle. Another tech case that I have, this one's a little bit bigger. And it's I've started traveling with things like my GoPro and attachments and things like that. So this is a new case that I've gotten. It's a little bit empty because I still haven't decided what it is that I want to take with me all the time when I'm traveling. But similar to my other one, it has these mesh elastic pockets. It has spaces for batteries and SD cards, memory cards, stuff like that. This is a nice padded area. So anything that you put on the other side is going to be protected. I have here, I haven't decided I'm going to keep it on top of the bottom, but I'll keep the GoPro, some other accessories. And this is really cool. This is a charger and it charges three batteries at once. I like that it is very flat. I have the standard one that stands and you just push them in. But if I'm traveling with it and I'm trying to tra to charge on the go, those batteries can come jostled and come out a little bit so they don't charge. This keeps them all nice and contained and they can charge it. Just th hook this onto the charger, throw it in my bag and go. It fits in here nicely along with the GoPro and a couple extra attachments. So this is a new one that I have recently gotten that I've really been enjoying. Corral some of the items. All right. I did mention that I have AirPods. I absolutely love them. I resisted getting them for a really long time. I started with the regular AirPods that my husband encouraged me to get. Then finally I went up to the AirPod Pros. I have um, kind of small ear canals. So usually the headphones that go into the ear canal um, or into the ear opening don't really fit my ears. They usually pop out and I've been completely shocked at how well the AirPods work every time i tell my husband that i love them he laughs at me and tells me i should have listened to him sooner and i agree i should have um one problem that a lot of people have is they're always losing their airpods so i got this case and i keep it attached to a keychain currently has my house keys on it because i like to be able to just take this out when i go for a walk to walk the dog whatever so i usually just hook this onto my shorts um, when I'm traveling, I do take off the house keys, but I leave a carabiner on. This gets hooked to something on my book bag. It always gets hooked to something inside my book bag, or I'll hook it onto myself so that they're always at hand. I can easily open and close them and put my AirPods away where, where they belong. Um, I try my best not to hook them onto the seat back. They can get left behind way too easy that way. So they're usually connected to something on me, even if it's my sweater or whatever I'm wearing to travel with. Um, I do take vitamins and some medications and I don't like traveling with all of the bottles and all of the items. So I have a list of everything that I take, but then I put them into these little ziploc -y style bags. They do have this little zipper and I can reuse them. These have been game changers when I've had to travel for a really long time, a really long time to me, I mean three or four weeks. Um, I can just fill them all up and take them with me and I don't have to carry my entire medicine cabinet. It feels like sometimes when I travel, um, I have, you can see I have curly hair. You have to take care of curly hair in certain ways. I'm very, very particular with my hair care items. Therefore I do not use shampoo and conditioners from hotels or resorts or cruise ships. I always carry my own and I buy the bottles in big bulk bottle sizes, those huge ones. I'm obviously not going to travel with those. So I found these bottles a few years ago. It's um, Human Gear is the brand. And I absolutely love these bottles so much that I now use them every day in the shower. I just refill them. Um, the shampoo and conditioner I refill about once a month. Body wash, I have two of these and I just refill two of them once a month and they last me all month long. Some of the things that I like about these, they are silicone. So it's really easy to squeeze out the end of it. Um, they, the lid comes off, so it's a really big opening. It has this little locking mechanism that you can pull out and flip up and it locks into place. So nothing's going to cause this to open. I do put these items into a Ziploc bag or into a plastic bag so that if anything does happen to spill, it doesn't get on everything, but these are it does have this little lock to try and keep that from happening and i've never had a spill with these so it just flips back you can use it to hang um a lot of people um, when they're camping especially and they have to use a public shower they'll clip a bunch of these to a carabiner so they can carry them around a lot easier this whole thing does actually come off because it's silicone 
when it's open, you can actually pull it out very easily. So if you want to clean it really well, you can do that as well. So I have four of these. I use shampoo, conditioner, and I have two body washes. I only travel with one of my body washes, but I keep both of them filled in my shower. From that same brand, I have these little popping um, tubs. So they have these little ones and it's, my husband has to hide these from me sometimes because I play with them. You just click it and it pops open and the popping is actually incredibly satisfying. So these are really good to put some lotion, some face cream, anything that you don't want to carry a big bottle of and you use in small quantities, they're really good for it. They come in um, sets of three and they come in different colors so you can keep them color coded. They also have smooth sides and a top. So if you wanna print your own labels or even write on them in a Sharpie and then clean it with um, rubbing alcohol later, you can do that to identify what everything is. So I have these smaller ones and I have these larger ones. The larger ones I usually use for my jewelry when I'm on the go, um, my hair items, clips, bobby pins, some hair ties, things like that. I always keep in these. Um, again, like my bathroom bottles for my liquids and stuff, I like these so much that I just put the entire thing into my drawer and I keep those items there. So when it's time to go, I just grab the whole item. This is an empty one that I had in my travel container. Um, just, I haven't needed to use it, but I have all of my hair stuff in some of these in my bathroom. Um, the last thing that I want to tell you guys, oh, there's a couple more things I want to tell you guys about today. If you've seen some of my other videos, you will know that I had surgery a few years ago and ever since then, I don't like the taste of water, which is heartbreaking to me because I drink a ton of water. So in order to get around that, I use these Gatorade Zero flavor packets. Um, my husband buys Gatorade Zero. We have the big bottles here, but I don't like to travel with all of that weight and all that space. So these are really good. They're small, they're compact, they're single serve packets. I have them in about, I think five or six different flavors and they can just go with us easily. These go with me to Disney. They are in my purse for when I'm out and about. Um, we're going to the beach next week for a week. These are coming with me. In addition, we'll buy some bottles of Gatorade when we are in town. These can easily come with us on flights and you don't have to worry about liquid restrictions and stuff like that. So if you don't have to be restricted to sugar-free, by all means, use regular Gatorade, use Powerade, use anything, but always I like to have flavorings with me. And the last thing I'm gonna tell you guys about today is my iPad. Um, I always freak out when I can't find my pencil. Okay, um, my iPad comes with me just like my Kindle everywhere. I don't use it to read, but I do use it for entertainment and especially use it for things like Hulu and Netflix and stuff like that. I like having a iPad with a lot of capacity. I can download multiple seasons of shows, which is great when you're doing something like flying from California to Hawaii and you feel like you're never gonna get off the plane. So it's really great to have lots of entertainment options with me between reading, I have my phone where I can listen to music and with my AirPods, and then I also have the ability to watch shows. So I always have my, Air my iPad um, with me, but I like this case specifically. So if I have my tray table down, I can fold this case up and it can just rest like this so it's propped up on its own. Any time that I'm on a flight that has a separate um, headrest, usually the ones that raise up and down, I can actually tuck this into the seat in front of me between the headrest and the seat. It never bothers the person in front of me. I've done this on 20 or 30 flights. I've asked people if it's okay. Sometimes I just hook it before anyone gets on the flight. Nobody's ever said anything whether they've given me permission or I've just done it before they've gotten on board, never even gotten a funny look about it. And I'm not hitting the seat in front of me or anything. I just lightly tap it. Most people don't even realize that it's hooked there. If anyone has said some, would say something to me, I would happily move it. Um, I can also sometimes, depending on how the tray table is when it's up, sometimes I can hook it into the tray table before I lock it. And it has enough space here that it doesn't cause any breakage or anything. This is the Second one I've had, the last one I had was for my um, my old AirPod. 
iPad, not AirPad, <laughs> that's not a thing. And I absolutely love it. I'm not really brand specific on this, it's more the style. It needs to easily flip back, have some space here for the side, and then needs to have the triangle style thing there. So these are just some of the things that I really like to travel with. I do have a lot more and I will be doing another one of these later on. Um, if you have any items that you love to travel with, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I'd love to try them out. A lot of my travel essential items I have gotten from either recommendations from other people or from watching other people's travel videos and travel essential hauls and things like that. Um, I don't use all of these items on every trip. If I'm not traveling by air, for example, I'm not going to use the luggage scale. If I am not traveling for work, I'm not going to use some of the tech items. Um, it just depends on where I'm traveling. Traveling by car for a road trip is going to be different than if I'm doing a work trip and I'm traveling by air. Different from a cruise. A three-day cruise is going to be different than a seven-day cruise. So I don't always use all of these items, but I have used them all on some of my trips. So. If you have any recommendations, please go ahead and let me know. I'd love to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time I have something new that posts. If you have any other types of travel videos that you want to let me know, some place you want me to explore, something you want me to try out, a tip or a trick, anything at all, or if you just want to say hi, go ahead and reach out to me in the comments. You can also send me any messages over on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok as well. And as always, don't forget to follow along and I will see you guys next time.